Much like this shirt, today's video is just for fun. We're gonna do a little guessing game and see if you can guess which one is the Axe Fex and which one is the Kemper. But first, let's roll this. So this video is not meant to be a super technical comparison. I'm going to be doing those and have been doing them where I do like one amp, just Marshalls or Marshall 800 versus Marshall 800 on the other one. And I've even been kind of like learning as I go. Uh, I always try to use like the same cabinet, same mic configuration. I'm going to be advancing to using even the same IR on each so we can really compare apples to apples. But that's not what this video is about. This, like I said, is for fun. I just want to do a guessing game with you guys where I play like a short... Uh, eight measure piece of music and I do one take on the Axe FX and one on the Kemper and I'll label them unit one, unit two, won't tell you which one is which and at the end of it you can guess. Uh, I'll record them like in a mix and then I'll record it or I'll just play it back just isolated so you can hear both ways of the guitar and take your guess from there. We're going to do four styles of music. I'm going to start with a classic rock piece, then I'm going to do like a clean jazz piece. Uh, I think I'll do a, like a prog rock gent kind of thing after that and I'll close it up with uh, like a soloist type of thing a lead guitar over just a keyboard pad for each one of these I will be using something that's in the box already uh, so for the Kemper I'm going on to the software that comes with it and pulling down a rig that's available from one of the great producers that they have doing rigs and I'll show you a screenshot before I do each one uh, so you can see what I've used uh, I don't want this to be something where you're having to program your own thing it's the kind of things you can get out of the box if you had bought one of these units and it's a little more fun to do a comparison that way, at least uh, to me, it's not super technical that way. And for the Axe FX, I am using presets as well, except for in one instance, uh, with the jazz version of this, I had to program a sound, but I didn't do anything as far as editing the amp or the cab. I just did a copy of what's on the Axe FX with a Gibson amp and a Gibson cabinet as close as I could get to what they offered there. So enough of me babbling, let's get on to the guessing game. We'll start with video number one. Okay, in the classic rock guessing game, on the Kemper, I'm going to be using a preset from the Amp Factory. It is selected in green down below there, Voice Top Boost Push, and this is based on a Vox Amp through a 2x12 cabinet. And on the Axe FX, what you'll be hearing is this preset that came in the Axe FX 3 box, the Vox AC30, also has a 2x12 cabinet on it. So there's my little classic rock ditty. Uh, I did that one with the Paoletti Telecaster. If you're interested in finding out more about that very unique looking guitar and great sounding guitar, uh, I reviewed it, link it up there. You can check out the review when you want. And as far as which is which, well, in this case, unit number one was the Kemper and unit number two was the Axe FX. And for our jazz guessing game, you can see I have got a vintage sound project sound on the Kemper. It is a Gibson Skyhawk amp played through a one by eight cabinet. For the Axe FX Jazz, this is the one instance where I didn't use a preset that came in either one of the boxes, but I did just use the default setting for the Gibtone Scout amp, and I used a 1x8 cabinet as well.
jazz piece. I'm not quite really a jazz player, but I'm just starting to learn and getting into it. And in this instance, the first unit is the Axfex and the second is the Kemper. Let's get down to our gent. And for the prog guessing game on the Kemper, I used a preset by, oh man, I don't want to pronounce his name. We'll call him Mr. Lamert. And he's got a chug chug sound on there, which is out of an EVH5153 amp with a 4x12 cabinet. And for the axe effects and the prog part of the guessing game, this is right out of the box. Preset number 27, it's a 5153. Also again, with a 4x12 cabinet. my attempt at Prague. I'm an old guy. I don't know how much I can do that kind of thing, but I tried. Uh, that is, the guitar is a Mayonis Hydra. I do have, I don't have a review of it individually, but I do have it in a gear battle in uh, comparison with a Kiesel 7 string, so I'll link that up here in case you want to see more about that guitar. And for this battle, if you guessed it right, you guessed unit number one was the Kemper, unit number two is the Axfex. And now let's get on to the last piece, the soloist part. And for the last piece of the guessing game, we have an even more difficult name to pronounce, so I'm not going to try it, but I'm using one of his uh, presets. It is a, the bogus is the Bogner amps, and it's a Bogner amp uh, through a 1x12 cabinet. And representing the Axe Effects team on the soloist section is preset 107 in the Axe Effects 3, the Bogfish, scene number 2, the Strato. Uh, this also has reverb turned on, as did the one on the Kemper. When I did these, I wasn't using effects from any one of these units. I was only using studio effects. In this case, I used the reverb and add some delay to it in the mix. But the delay is not from the units, it's from the studio. And for your final guessing game, if you guessed unit number one was the Kemper and unit number two was the Axe Effects, you were correct. Let me know in the comments below if you got them all right. And if you like this kind of stuff and you like the lessons that I'm doing, please consider uh, liking and subscribing and all that. I'm um, working hard building the channel here and I always communicate with everybody. So if you have any questions or comments or anything you'd like to add, ideas for videos and whatnot, or you want to share some of your own stuff, please share it in the links below or in the comments below. And I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And until next time, guys, 
keep making great music. Hey friends, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. It makes the whole world better.